line in three, two, one. Power up. And a reminder that the switches and the scale are randomized at the start. The robots have to be able to adapt to that. The Blue Alliance has. They control their switch. 36.69 on Rev. Jeffrey kind of kind of hunting around there for their switch and launching a cube instead. That's not good. Now human players take control for 2 minutes and 15 seconds at the start of the match. There are six cubes that are lined up in the platform zone. That's the area between the switch and the scale. Robots taking advantage of that. Also between the switch and the player station, that stack of cubes, there's 10 of those. Those are the cubes in play. And then there's seven cubes behind the human player stations that can be fed onto the field through what's called the portal. There's uh, red ones and blue ones. The red ones are actually on the blue alliance side and the blue ones are on the red alliance side. So robots have to cross the length of the field to collect additional cubes from the portals. Blue Alliance feeding cubes through the exchange zone to the human players to be loaded into the vault. The vault is where the power-ups come from. Meanwhile, the scale swinging back and forth between the respective alliances. Red controls now. Red trailing, but they've got the advantage. They're scoring points two a second instead of one, thanks to the control from the scale. One minute remaining, so they're scoring points faster, but they got some catching up to do. They're also going to try and deprive the Blue Alliance of their control of the switch. So again, that doesn't, that's not good for the red, it's just bad for the blue. It keeps the blue from accumulating points more rapidly. So the Red Alliance is best bet to close the gap. And we have some rather serious gameplay here, a penalty incurred by one of the robots for relatively rough collision. The collision itself wasn't a problem. You just can't interfere with the robot when you're, when the robot's in a null zone or interfere with the performance of the scale. Now 20 seconds to go, 597. We saw them come close on this maneuver before. We'll see how they can do. Meantime, 599, Emma the Embryologist hooking in for a climb for the Red Alliance. Well, 10 seconds to go. Blue activates a power up. Again, Blue can close this gap if they hurry. Three, two, one, and 660. Ryan tipping, but doesn't quite fall over there. Looks like the Blue Alliance will prevail. Action. These robots for the next one. And here's our finals. And Blue Alliance, not a surprise here. Blue Alliance benefits from 60 penalties against the Red Alliance. So that was uh, pretty influential. Didn't quite.